Hey everybody, Boom Boys here. Man, we are on Fort Cobb Lake in Oklahoma. We've got our bait tank back here. We have not been here since we made that uh, jug fishing video that you guys may have seen. So, don't know really what to expect. There's a ton, a ton of boats on this water. I've not seen this boat ramp this full, ever full of boats. Most of them obviously, uh, you know, out here just to enjoy the, the water sports out here. Probably not a lot of fishermen. So the water is up a lot. I bet since the last time we're here, it's up probably, I don't know, six to eight feet plus. I think it's gonna be a great trip, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Yikes, guys, this is, these are a big one. Guys, we're on 35 feet. 30. 30. One, 15. I can't see him in the water. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh. So a couple of things, you know, I get asked a lot of questions as far as how to catch bait and what to look for. Typically, shad are gonna be in shallower water right now. They're on top in about 12, 14 feet. You can actually see them on top. Now, one of the advantages of coming early in the morning or, or late at night is that you can actually see them flicker on top, which is huge. But now with this live scope, we can already tell. My, my dad, he's seeing them and he's, direct, he's directing the boat directly to them, which is, guys, so nice. We always thought that catching, catching shad was gonna be the biggest benefit of this. Uh, live scope in the past we have pretty much relied on 2d just below the boat and once i go over him you know make a cast now he's telling me where to cast i don't have i'm not seeing him on 2d because they're off to the side and now on them so i think this live scope guy is going to be a, a game changer yeah just to the yeah, left of the, still just to your left close to the trolling motor you ought to go through them Right through them. I mean, right through them. Oh. Right through them. Yeah, pull it up. Oh. Okay, guys. Oh, yeah. Carry this thing back here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You can see good sized shad right here. Hook them through the eyes. We went to a spot that we oh. caught fish last fall. As soon as I put the bait down, got a fish or got a bite. John Barry just got a bite. So I can see him down there. I'm gonna spot lock right here. That's exactly what we're looking for right there, guys. We're gonna get some hits right there. Oh, here's one. Ooh, nice one, guys. Double. You doubled up? Ooh, guys, he's getting it. We are on them, guys. They are stacking up. We've got the splasher going in the back. That is key. Man, I must have a nice one on, or it's been a while since I caught one. It's, nice. Ooh, it's a nice fish. Yeah. I got it. Okay, get your, get your, Jerry's got one. <laughs> Woo. That mouth right there gulped that nice fish. Look at this one, guys. Every time you get a bite, it's a good idea just to kind of check it, check your bait. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. <laughs> he came back for it. Look how big that shad is that he's eating. Look at that. Look at that, barely fit in his mouth right there. So my dad's got the live scope going, told me 60 foot in front. All those are the fish right there swimming right there on bottom. There's one. There we go, little Sandy. So here's our rig right here. We just got a, this is a uh, one ounce egg sinker here. And our braid here is about, about 20 pounds, 20, 25. Every pole's a little bit different. Now here it's really important. We got 30 pound mono. Here's about a two foot leader with an octopus circle hook right here. Uh, two to three aught, two aught's typically what we use. Um, but it's real important to use 30 pound test. Um, you know, you go down to 17 pound test, they are gonna break you off so fast. Well, Tim, he's carrying it and he dropped it. He might. Oh, guys, they can't get it in their mouth and you can see your line going. and. That's what they do to your shad. Flip them around. There. Stay on there, baby. He's, he's still pretty wasp. He's pretty good on that thing. Uh-uh. You're well, hitting me with your pool. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry, you got one, bud. You got there one. You go. Oh, you got one, Jerry. 
He's down, Jerry. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go, man. We're on some hybrid now. <laughs> We're on the hybrid now, guys. Really good idea to have a hook sharpener. You know, you catch a lot of fish and keep those hooks sharp. Keep you from missing a lot of fish. My hooks are too small. Look at that. That's a nice one, John Barry. Dude, boom! Oh boy, that's a big one. 24 inches. So we've just been moving around a little bit, guys. We're kind of in the same area pretty much. And this, I think, you know, once you catch a fish, a lot of times it gets them going. Brings the other ones in here looking, plus the splashers in the back. If you don't know what a splasher is, we got a video on that. You ought to check that out as well. Um, crucial, crucial if you want to come after these hybrid and striper and sand bass. There he is. Oh, oh. oh man, both my boys are on it, guys. Let's go, guys. This thing's going. Oh man, next. Oh, nice one, Jerry. Woo, that's a tank. He got one, Paul. Over 25. Woo. He's over 25. Here. Oh, you, you Let's go. This one's gonna be 28. I got one too. Hold on. Oh, you popped off. Oh. How much over is for fishing? How much? Hey guys, they're barely hitting, man. They're barely hitting. You better, if you feel them, raise up on it. He was just nibbling on it. I thought it was a sandy. That's what and I it's, thought. It's a nice hybrid. That's how mine a choke. Uh, That's I, not, how mine I mean, look at that. Pull and drag. So small. Here you go. It's so small. Oh boy. Ooh, look at that. Ow, I got one. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh man. Alright, let's count the overs. One fish. I can't wait till it's blowing up there. Oh. Oh. You got one. No reason why I should. If you've not been hybrid fishing, man, this is unbelievable. Big old shad. Man, this was last year's crop. Oh, there he is. Jerry's got one. There's boaters everywhere around us, and we were just stacking these fish up. Unbelievable. Here's John Barry's got one. Nice one. Mine's a... Man, we're at four cops smashing them, dude. Hold up. Smashing them, dude. Oh, oh, my back. Yeah, pretty crazy. Oh. 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 Yeah, I think Dad wanted to pull out the downrigger. It's so good, I'm fishing with the bear hook, John. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't even looking when he was. <laughs> Look at the size can guys stacked man everywhere man 2D you can't hardly see him but man look at that stack. I caught one with the bear hook. Look at this right when I was really Oh sand bass. Yeah. Oh we're stacked guys they are stacked. Oh gosh that's a hog. That is a hog buddy. Look at that thing. It's making a way. <laughs> oh, I you oh man, this is huge. 26 and a quarter inches. Look at this big old boy here. He's too big to eat, guys. Oh! Oh man, I know he's hard. He's hard. Yeah. So we're snelling all these hooks, and we typically use octopus circle. And on this, you know, what you do is just go over the top right there. There's a ton of videos on this. Once you go through the top, I loop it. Now from there, I just do I do seven with this 30-pound test. I do seven. Loops right here. And then stick it back through. Pretty easy, guys. It's a pretty easy knot. They quickly tie. And I've never had one of these knots fail. These are big baits, man. This is last year's spawn. 
um, good sized shad. You know, this year's spawn just so small. We're spot locked. Guys, they're just staying underneath us and we're just spot locked. Oh, it, up right there. It, it hit the bottom, man. Oh, we doubled up. Oh, woo -hoo, man. Oh, you can't 25 inch or one handed. Oh, let's go, baby. And John Barry's got one up front. Look at this one. All right, guys, we've limited out on over 25 and a half, man. How big, how big was mine? We all are. <laughs> we are. Nice fish, man. Look at this tank right here. Whew. Man. Good job, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's under. Good job, man. Uh, oh, he swam right into it. <laughs> Have to start putting a cup on here. Here. It fought the hook. So hold that. Oh boy, here we go. Yes. We started in, you know, 12, 12 foot of water, 14 foot of water. John Barry almost got hung up in the troll motor. I turned it off. We drifted over here to 20. Now we're in 23 foot of water and it's about the same from 14 to 23. It seems like they're just staying with us with this uh, plopper back there. The boaters are just creating so much waves. It's really not windy at all. The movement in our boat is from these, these uh, wake boats and all that, man. There's so many out here. My dad couldn't even hardly find a spot to launch the, the boat to park the trailer. There's so many. So you see how we're hooking them right there. We're just hooking them right through the eye. At the top of the eye, there's a little hollow spot that typically doesn't harm them or do anything to them. We have good luck there. You know, a lot of people hook them different spots, but we have good luck with that. Oh, one came up right to the surface. It's head's I mean, coming. You can see his brain. You're retired, buddy. Um, I'm sorry that you won't see another minute. Oh boy, he hit it like a ton of bricks, baby. Oh, he hit it. Look at this, baby. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think that's where. Oh. Oh, boy. Dude, there's, there's, yeah, right. That's no sand bass. That's why it's fine. Sand bass don't fight like that. You can tell these are a lot bigger than normal that we've used in the past. Look at that compared to my hand right there. See that? These are good sized shad. Nothing for these big old hybrids. That nice one, dude. Tank, guys. Tank. Look at that belly. Woo! I got a scale. We don't weigh them much. Man, it's on kilograms. 3.2 kilograms. 3.2 times 2.2. Look at that side scan, guys. Stacked over there. And they're just moving around in here. We are spot locked. And they're just, just staying in here. Swimming around, you know. And I think the ploppers, and plus we're putting a lot of bait in the water. Um, you know, a lot of bait we're throwing in. The dead bait, I think it's kind of helping keep it around as well. He barely hit it too. He just kind of nibbled on it. And he's a, ooh, he's a, Woo! Look at that. Did I tangle someone up? Ooh. Did I? I was saying. Boy, he just went underneath the boat. Sometimes you can't help it. Whoa. Sometimes you can't help it. Not when the bill. I know. I, I, I know. Oh, there's one while I was doing it up. <laughs> yep. About five feet away <laughs> from underwater. Tripled up, guys. Come on, John Barry. Hurry, get one. Oh, wait. I'm hung on you. Quadruple. quadruple let's go we did it quadruple up guys we did it there we go, there we go bud quadruple up baby <laughs> oh man trip of a lifetime some days boaters might matter today it's not mattering at all oh there's one i didn't even feel a fight oh, oh john barry john barry's got a fight over here man who's gonna win dude who's gonna win but try it, measure. This one, this one's not. This one is not. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. There he is. Oh, man. Oh, dude. 
<laughs> Look at that, guys. This is Look a at gym. That. This is a gym. Like huh. Lou. This is crazy. It's a workout. It is a workout. Like, this is insane. It's I mean, he's big, but he's not that big. He is as big as what he was fighting. I mean, he's a nice fish. You know, he's probably a 25 incher, but he was fighting like he was 27, 28 inches. Oh, sand bass, guys, sand bass. I'm, I'm just. All right, all right. Oh, there we go. There's a hybrid. There's a hybrid. There we go. So it went from 23 foot to 20 foot, moving around because he slowed down just a little bit. It's so important, guys. Fresh live bait. We've got salt in the bait tank. We've got bait saver in there. And then we also put ice in there to keep them cooled off, guys. Have lively, lively bait. That's so, so important with these fish. Some days, man, if you don't have lively bait, you won't catch hardly any fish. If you got lively bait, man, you're catching fish. Dude, I can't believe we're not like running into one that's like 12, 13, 14 pounds, you know? With all these big ones. Oh, Trevor, you got one. Oh, I got one too. I got one too. Come on, Paul. Oh, Paul. Spotlight, Paul. baby. Spotlight. Paul, Paul. Paul. You're still using that dead shad. Just a reminder. <laughs> still using that dead John Barry's shad. got one. I'm locked into one too right here. He got one! We why'd you pull up, guys? We moved from 23, not the same area, guys, but 23 to 16 foot. Uh, just until I start seeing some marks. Oh man. Don't stay funny. in the same spot. That's something real important. If you're not seeing them or catching them, man, these fish move a lot. So don't just sit there because you caught hundred fish in one spot. And if you go 15, 20 minutes not really getting them, don't be afraid to search around the area. You sucker. Oh, You're up on the top, buddy. Oh, ah. Easy, yeah, a big one. No, you ain't going down. Little ah. sucker. Oh man, dude, what a fish, bud. Look at that, dude. What a. That's fat. He That's is fat. so fat. Just look at him closely. He's fat. Look he, at him closely. They're so mean. He just wants to bite my hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Look here, how here. fat this thing is, Bubba. One, two, three. Nice fish, buddy. Good job, man. He's he, big. He is. All right, there. Oh, 26. 26 inches, Papa. Man, we've caught so many big ones today. Unbelievable. Incredible. Middle of June, Fort Cobb, caught big bait today. And first spot we chose, it was a good one. Oh boy, oh! There we go. Oh. That, that guy? Well, I, I just don't want to lose the pool. Look how nasty that is, guys. That's why you gotta clean these out. Tons of moss, skill. Days like this, when we catch, you know, probably 300 shad, you know, we're probably cleaning it out five to 10 times a trip. See the difference here. This is just a Scotch Bright sponge that we cut out to fit over this. Nothing special, guys. Here's our charcoal bag right here that we just got on Amazon. It says Aqua, Aqua Neat. I just can't help it. I just can't help it. I just can't help myself. Yeah, I can't help what? I mean, you folks.
because the last spot completely shut off. And so now we moved to our second spot and man, we saw her seeing some fish here. We're gonna put the lines out and see how it goes. What's crazy is we caught all those fish at the other spot and I hardly saw any fish on 2D, but look at this. That's typical right there. That's typical marks that we see for hybrid bass right there on bottom right there. So normally when we're catching a bunch, I just had a bite. We all had a bite. These are sand bass probably for sure. Um, but normally when we're on them, we see them on bottom just like that. John Barry got one in the new oh, spot right nice here. Sandy. That's a big Sandy, man. It's amazing that these sand bass can hit these big baits, but man, it's hard sometimes. They'll nibble at it, nibble at it. They gotta swallow it just perfect. How did he miss it? Oh, there he is, guys, on the slab. I'm not a one-trick pony, man, after all. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir! We are on our third spot, last spot, man. Just sandies, nothing, nothing big. And so we're at a new spot right now, and there's a lot of fish on bottom. Yes, and John Barry's got one. That a boy, hybrid man. Guys, those, those right there. This is what he calls going to the. I got one too, guys. I got one too. Look at this. Oh. I better get the fish in the house. Those are typical hybrid marks right there, guys. Just like that. That's what we're used to seeing. With these poles going down like this. It took guys one minute when we got here it doesn't take long um you know when you're on them and they want to bite don't sit there for 15 20 minutes just try to coax them to bite these are aggressive fish wow what a fish dude that's a nice one wow guys what an incredible trip actually we did way better than i even thought this is our first time here this year uh, live baiting at Fort Cobb in Oklahoma, man, just exceeded our expectations. Thank you so much guys for watching our videos. Really appreciate it. Also guys, hey, be sure to check out our Facebook page. We just created one. It's just an easier way for us to communicate with you all. We're gonna try to post a lot of pictures on there. Normally what we wouldn't put on YouTube. So be sure to go to our Facebook page, like that and follow us and communicate with us through there and also the community that we're building through there. Um, man, just kind of lake reports, where fish are biting at, um, what you're doing, I think it helps all of us, you know, to be better at what we're doing to catch more fish. Well, we're about to load this boat, guys. We'll see you on the next one.